Hey, what's up? It's Josh from the Dialed In Hunter. Hope everyone's been having a good 2021. Spring bear seasons are right around the corner. So freaking pumped for that. Until then though, I wanted to give you all a breakdown of three knives that I'm pretty excited about. They're all made from a company called Argali out of Idaho. Argali is a uh, smaller company focusing on high quality gear for backcountry hunters and make knives and game bags and I've been using their stuff for years now and I've been really happy. So before I get into these knives, um, all three of these knives are made from S35 VN steel. S35 VN steel is pretty freaking awesome because it's gonna hold its edge really well all right so it's hard enough to hold its edge but it's not so hard of a steel that you're not going to be able to sharpen it on your own uh should your knife get dull that's one of the problems with some of these like harder steels and stuff like they they have really great edge retention but if that edge is lost shape reshaping that blade can be a pain in the butt and honestly it's just probably easier to send it back to whatever company made it and have them sharpen it to factory settings uh another thing that's similar about all these knives all of them come with kydex sheath two of the knives are uh come with g10 textured handles and one of them is a skeletonized knife so with all that being said let's jump into the knives i'm going to show you the first one that i ever used from argali it's called the argali carbon knife this is the first knife that argali ever made um 1.8 ounces really great knife I had a lot of success with this thing it feels awesome in your hand um, I've used it in all manner of weather um, working on animals and stuff and I've never had an issue with it slipping or, or feeling awkward or anything like that no hand cramping when I'm when I'm working on a critter uh, really great shape to it um, it's deep enough of a blade that it's good, it's good, it's good for skinning um, and it's got a great tip here to be able to make those first incisions, those first initial incisions on an animal, um, which is something I've had a problem with in the past with like super deep bellied blades. Those blades are really great for skinning, but that man, making that first incision on an animal is always a pain in the butt with those. So this uh, really does great with that. Uh, it's got the jibbing on the on the spine here, which is just great for comfort as you're working through an animal. And this is just overall a great knife, man. Like just a solid knife that I would take into the field in a heartbeat. So next to that one uh, is going to be the Argali Serac knife. Okay, um, very similar to the Carbon, except for one thing and that's the blade shape, okay? This is a deeper bellied blade than the Argali carbon knife. Let me grab that carbon knife and I'll show you guys. So this is them on top of each other here. It's Cerax on the top, carbon knife's on the bottom. You can see the Serac has a deeper belly, which is going to be great for skinning, okay? But it doesn't give up that point that I was telling you about, all right? So when it comes to making that initial incision, like I was saying, like this is still going to be able to do that, which is huge, um, in my opinion, for, a, for a, a knife that was geared more for skinning. So really, really pumped on that. Another thing that's different about this knife is right here you'll see there's a little cut like a divot like a little cutout this is actually a ferro rod striker okay so i do carry a flint and steel with me in the field um and so when i saw this i was like heck yeah man this is gonna be sweet because that's how i normally start fires on hunts is with a flint and steel call me old-fashioned but that's that's how i do it so when i saw that i was really excited about it um just a cool feature on a knife so that is the argali serac knife this comes in at 2.1 ounces uh so just a shade heavier than the argali carbon knife at 1.8 ounces
And after that, we land on the Mamma Jamma of ultralight right here. This is called the Coal, all right? Um, really cool knife. Normally, I'm not a fan. You can see that the handle is skeletonized. Um, one of the reasons I like those the carbon knife and the Serac so much is because they are not skeletonized. They're, they feel really great in the hand. It's kind of a beefy handle, um, but not too beefy to where it's heavy. Um, skeletonized handles, normally I don't do that great with, and I'll, I'll end up wrapping them in paracord. This one, though, feels really good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. This is the knife. Orange, so you're not going to lose it. This comes in at one ounce. Okay, so for the ounce ha the ounce counters out there, really looking to shave weight, this is for you. It's got a great shape to the blade, so it's going to be a great like do it all knife. Great like a deeper belly here for skinning. And it's got that point on it to be able to do detailed work. Say if you're working around the antlers, stuff like that. Um, this is going to do really well with that. It's got the jibbing along this along the spine here, and like I said, this it just it feels great in the hand. I I wouldn't put I'm not going to put paracord on this on this handle at all um, because it's big enough to where I don't feel like it's going to slip or it's not it's not too skinny or anything like that. So um, really cool knife. Like when you're really looking to shave weight, this is going to be uh, the ticket right here. So that's gonna do it. Those are a couple knives I'm really pumped about for this year. I'm gonna be running them all. Um, I've done reviews for the Argali Carbon Knife uh, and the Argali Serac Knife. I have yet to do a in-depth review on the coal, so be on the lookout for that in the future. I'll drop links down below for all of these knives if you wanna check them out, please do so. Argali's a great company. Um, it is, they are backcountry hunters making gear for backcountry hunters. So, um, I'll put a link down below for their, for their website as well. If you like the video, please hit thumbs up, like the channel, please hit subscribe. And until next time, stay safe out there.